Hello and welcome to a quick lesson on service organization controls for the May 2021 Common Body of Knowledge Refresh for the CISSP exam. In this video, we'll be talking about two different things. We'll be talking about the SOC audit types or SOC types and the two report types. It's easy to get these mixed up, so we've come up with some mnemonics to hopefully help you to distinguish between the types of SOC audits and the report types. So. Let's dive right in. First, we'll talk about the sock types and we'll use this striped sock in each slide so that you can easily associate what we're talking about with the image shown here. For sock one, you wanna say the phrase finance first. Sock one audits deal with internal controls over financial reporting. That's that ICFR there. For SOC 2, you're going to want to say the phrase trust is 2 because SOC 2 uses the trust services criteria. SOC 2 deals with security controls. People often refer to SOC as either an audit or a report. The key to remember here is that the report type has not been identified yet. So a key phrase for these concepts is quote unquote report type, which is different than SOC type. Remember, SOC is more of a category for the type of audit or the type of report. A SOC 3 report is basically a redacted SOC 2 report. It's intended for a public audience and is usually available on an organization's website. Since the SOC 2 report used the trust services criteria, the SOC 3 will have it as well. SOC for cybersecurity is a report that shows how an organization meets the cybersecurity requirements. It also uses the trust services criteria. So what are the trust services criteria or trust service criteria? You can use the mnemonic SACPIP, S-A-C-P-I-P. We have security, availability, confidentiality, process integrity, and privacy. The red letters in this mnemonic give you the SAC pipe or SAC pip, but I want you to think of SAC pipe to help you remember it. Instead of a bagpipe, we have a SAC pipe. The trust services criteria are also used by SOC 2, SOC 3, and SOC for cybersecurity. Now let's get into the report types. So as you can see, we have a different image up here. It's a different SOC type. So you have SOC types and then you have the report types. So a type one report has a point. Think of the number one and how it has a point at the top. This point refers to the fact that it reflects a point in time, not a period of time. The report focuses on the suitability of design, how fairly the represented presentation of a system is, and shows the organization is conducting due diligence. type 2 report has more than one point, so it refers to a period of time rather than a point in time. The report focuses on everything that type 1 does, but with the addition of operating effectiveness, because it's looking at a period of time rather than a point in time. This report shows that due care is being practiced. I need to point out that in ISC Squared's materials, namely the self-paced study guide and the prior books, which is the only quote-unquote official material out there, the due care and the due diligence here are reversed. I switched them here because it wasn't making any sense in my mind, and I have access to both the official student and instructor guide from 2018, and there are several mistakes in them. Due diligence is research and preparation. It's the pre-decision activities whereas due care is the actions and decisions that show or prove that due diligence was performed. Since a time period shows continued compliant actions, that aligns better with due care in my opinion. So if you have a different interpretation on how due diligence and due care interplay with SOC report types, please leave a comment below because I think this could be an exam question for a lot of you. A SOC type three report doesn't exist, but keep in mind that a SOC three report might be called a SOC type three report. The exam is notorious for interchanging words and phrases. So if you're asked to pick something and it's not worded perfectly in your responses, be sure to pick the option that's closest to the right answer. That wraps up our updated lesson on SOC audits and reports. I hope you benefited from this video. Please head over to cissprep.net to see if our practice questions can help you prepare for this crazy exam. Thanks for watching and have a great day.